How y'all doing? You having a great time tonight? It's good to be here. Five of you are having a good time. But uh, where's the parents at in this house tonight? We have one, one person willing to admit they have children. You're not willing to admit it out loud, are you? You must have those annoying kids, don't you? They bother you all the time, right? So what do you do? You pawn them off and somebody else asks a million questions, right? I'm that guy who gets stuck with your children. Anybody else in that situation where people pawn their kids off on you and you can't deal with them anymore? Well, listen, I devised a plan. I devised a plan that works every time to get rid of these little snot monsters. All right, when their kids come up to me and they start asking me a million questions, I go, well, hold on there, little guy. I got a question for you. Where's your parents at? And they rat them out. I go right up to their parents and I say this one line. Works every time. Try it out. I says to them, excuse me, I'm required by law to let you know I'm a registered sex offender. <laughs> they scoop their kids up all the time. <laughs> Run right away. Try it. It works. It works. But you don't want to do it everywhere. Like at a beach, you don't want to be known as that guy on the beach. So one thing you want to know, at the beach, there's always going to be like the uh, those sea pigeons. What are they called? Seagulls. Seagulls. Yeah, I call them sea pigeons. Same difference. What you want to do is take a handful of food and throw them at the kid's feet. All the seagulls flock to them and they chase them away. That's how you get rid of annoying children. But seriously though, I, I realize that children are very, very precious because I recently became a father. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you know that computer game, The Sims? Well, my Sim had a baby. <laughs> and unlike the real world where you have several months to name your child, you only have a few seconds in the Sim world to name your baby. So I named him after my favorite candy bar, Kit Kat. <laughs> I'm thinking, what if in real life when I have children someday, I name them after candy bars? You know, names like Reese, Milky Way, possibly Milky Way Dark if I hook up with a black chick. <laughs> if I have twins, I'll call them Mike and Ike. And check this out, let's not name them right away, okay? Let's wait to see what they do and still stick with the candy theme. Like if I have a baby who laughs a lot, I'm gonna call them Snickers. <laughs> if I have a baby who drops a lot of stuff, I'm gonna call them Butterfingers. And if I have a gay baby, I'm gonna name him Skittles. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? In order for me to have a child, I need a woman in my life. I ain't got that right now. I ain't got a woman, it's because I suck at picking up girls. I'm awful at it. I thought I'd get a really nice car and all the girls would flock to me. So I went out and got a rice down Honda Civic. And because I drive a rice down Honda Civic, all the girls think there's an Asian dude behind the tin of windows. All right, and what are Asian guys known for? Tiny peepees. You girls don't want that, do you? No? And ladies, clap up if you love a man who can dance. All right, I was about to give you a boop. But no, seriously, I can't dance, all right? I can't dance, I'm not that guy. I, I try, though. I, I have a few moves. You guys want to see them? Doesn't sound like you guys want to see my dance moves? Yeah. All right, I start off with the hula hoop. And I bust out shaking my booty. Shake that booty. And I do the happy face sweat. So uh, any ladies want to dance? Didn't think so. But in all honesty, the, uh, the, the real reason why I suck at picking up girls is that I'm ugly as sin. That's right, I'm so ugly, look at me. Look at me, I'm so ugly, I look like olive oil cheat on Popeye with Howdy Doody. I, I got the worst of that combination of gene pool right there, okay? I'm so thin, when I put on those skinny jeans, they're baggy on me. Let's talk about the red hair, all right? I'm not a ginger, damn it. I'm a day walker, okay? <laughs> and I hate any other redheads in here tonight? <laughs> You're a redhead? Don't you just hate it? At I guarantee you people have asked you this question. They come up to you and they're like, do the carpet smash the drapes? Do the carpet smash the drapes? You get that all the time, you know what my answer is? No, they don't match, because it's business up top and party down below. It's so crazy down there, it looks like I got a carrot top and a headlock. You know, my friends, they try to help me out. They're like, Kevin, get on that online dating. Anybody do the online dating? Nobody in here, my friends are like, get on the online dating, plenty of fish, match.com, okcupid. I'm like, no, I can't join any of those sites. You know why? There's thousands of redheads on those sites. If I'm gonna join an online dating website, it's one where I can truly stand out. And that for me is blackpeoplemeet.com. <laughs> yeah, I've dated black women in the past. I'll date them again, I'll marry a black woman, but I'll never have children with a black woman. Now hear me out, there's a good reason for this, and it's because with my luck, it's going to come out black skin and bright orange red hair, 
All his classmates are gonna have a new racial slur and be like, oh, look at this ninja. <laughs> I can't do that to Milky Way Dark. <laughs> I can't do that to Milky Way Dark, so you know what? Sorry, no children with the black ladies for me. <laughs> Who here owns a GPS or has used one? Everyone, right? Everyone's used a GPS? Has anyone gotten a GPS that actually works? Oh yeah, you, you have one that works? I very hardly like find that easy to believe. Because listen to my my reason for that is my GPS. It goes boop in two-thirds of a mile, be prepared to turn left. I'm like, two-thirds of a mile? You're giving me fractions? I work with whole numbers. Come on now, give me a fraction I can like know, like a half. I don't know a third, let alone two of them. This ever happen to you guys? You come up against a whole bunch of series of intersections or close together and the GPS doesn't update the screen fast enough, so it goes boop, in 200 feet, turn right. Then it goes boop, turn right now. So you make the right hand turn, then it goes boop, recalculating. <laughs> My GPS got so messed up, it took me to a gas station, it goes boop, please go inside and ask for directions. I said, enough of this, I went and got myself a map and a compass. And that's not the worst my GPS has ever screwed me up. All right, this true story, wait to hear this. I go to Myrtle Beach with my friends, we need to make a Walmart run. So I put the address in there, we're following it, and all, out of nowhere it goes, boop, you've reached your destination on the left. So I look over, and we're at a strip club. <laughs> I'm like, man, this GPS is really starting to get to know me. It's kind of like Netflix and TiVo, because you stopped at Gary's Go-Go-Rama, perhaps you'd enjoy stopping at Charlene's Cabaret. So me and my friend, we decide to go in there. Anyone ever been to a strip club? No. Uh, fellas, if you're with the ladies, blink three times. <laughs> now you can always tell what kind of strip club you're in by the names of the dancers. All right, what was that? I thought I was at a strip club now. You thought you were on, oh. <laughs> DJ, or is that music? <laughs> well, no, you can always tell what kind of strip club you're in by the names of the dancers. That DJ gets to the mic and he's like, now, make over the stage, we have Cinnamon, and on deck is Mercedes. Stick around for that show. Me and my friend, we go in the strip club in Myrtle Beach. What do we hear? Now, make our way to the stage. We have Dump Truck. <laughs> dump Truck is this 400-pound hunchback, warts all over her face, candy bars sticking out in her G-string. You know, she only had one move, and that was backing that ass up. Beep, beep. Uh, my friend, he actually goes to me, he goes, hey, Kevin, you know you hit that, right? I go, of course I hit that. With a bus. So who, who here hates their job? You hate your job? What do you do? I order medical supplies. You order medical supplies? Is that what you wanted to be when you grew up? What was the dream for you? You had no dream? So it was just like, yeah, you closed your eyes and went up and down the newspaper and boom, there it is. And now you're selling medical supplies and hating your life, right? Anybody else have a job they hate? Everyone loves their jobs? You know a bunch of liars. Oh, you hate your job? <laughs> but no, for me, my job that I hated the most was working retail. Anyone ever work retail? No one's worked retail? I was the only cashier. Oh, you did? Yeah. What'd you do? Sell clothes. Sell clothes? <laughs> I worked as a cashier at Sam's Club for about five years of my life, five miserable years. And I hate it when people come to my line and they just be so horrible to me. You know what I would do? I would squish their bread. I'd squish their bread, crush their chips. I had such joy from it. And I was so miserable, you could see it in my face. Like the one customer comes up to me and he reads my name tag and he thinks we're buddies because he knows my name. He's like, Kevin, why aren't you smiling? Oh, honey, look, Kevin's not smiling. Come on, Kevin, crack us a smile. So I look him in his eyes and I go, how can I smile my sister just died? I don't even have a sister, so it's all good. His wife looked at him like she was going to beat him up in the car. They walked away and I couldn't stop smiling. Oh, it was great. Good times there. Uh, you see in the news all these shootings going on? Isn't that crazy? That's why I feel like we should all carry guns. I'm a supporter of the Second Amendment. Actually, thank you very much. I actually had to use my Second Amendment right. I had somebody chase me up my driveway at my own house in a case of road rage. He gets out of his car, comes up the driveway, and I go, hold on there, buddy, I got a gun. All right, I know gun foo. He goes, I don't care, I know kung fu. So he charges at me. And I'm like, all right, I got to shoot. So I shot him. 
All right, and it ended exactly how you think it would. He caught the bullet in his teeth, roundhouse kicked me, and knocked my ass out. <laughs> All right, I got one more for you guys. I want to do a porno. In this porno, I'm going to have a bunch of old ladies getting peed on. I'm going to call it Golden Grams. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's bring Jimmy back up here. <laughs> guys, you great. Come on, keep your hands going for Kevin left to right there.